Hey up folks, welcome to my desktop. I use a bunch of different cameras to shoot video and they use a variety of different frame rates. Hang on, that's not a camera. And what am I filming this on? Anyway, when I come to mix these sources in Blender or to do some high speed playback, the workflow is a bit of a pain in the wasp name. You have to pick a rate to start with and then any video that's filmed at a different rate needs a speed control strip to bring it back into sync with real time. That's all well and good, but editing with speed control strips isn't much fun. You can't cut and slide your source material after the speed control is applied, because it doesn't compensate for the start offset and you're not working in real frame numbers, and the strips after the cut don't follow on from the ends of the one before the cut. Also, if you're changing the speed of a given section of video and you want to keep the out point, you have to manually work out the new length of the strip and type it in. All in all, it's nice that it works at all, but it's a fiddle. What I've got here is a new bit that I've been working on that allows you to control the playback rate from within the video strip. I've got it set up so that if you add a movie strip to the VSC that doesn't match the current scene frame rate, it'll automatically turn the override on and set it to play at the source rate. Notice how the audio and video length match. Because the rate control is done within the source strip, it can handle being cut, having its start point changed and being slid around, and it all behaves just as if the source video is filmed at the scene rate. Also, if I want to play some segment at a different speed, all I need to do is enter the new rate, and it'll optionally change the length of the strip to suit. So all I need to do is shuffle the strips to the right around a bit. It also works on movie clip strips, and on scene and meta strips, so that if you've done some motion tracking, or have been working on an animation that's at a different rate, you can sort it out just the same. I know the peeps at Blender are reluctant to get into VSE changes at the moment, so I suspect that getting this into the main line will be difficult, but this is compatible with old files, and it doesn't cause any bother if you don't use it, and it makes the workflow for speed adjustment a whole lot slicker. I'd welcome any opinions and concerns about this, feel free to leave a comment below or whatever. I've got some polishing I'd like to do, for instance at the moment it doesn't actually blend or interpolate frames, it just does nearest neighbour. And I don't know how to get a label on this drop down without it moving the drop down over to the right and squashing all the text. But once I'm happy with it, I'd like to get some of the Blender devs to have a look at it. And if someone other than me thinks that this is a worthwhile change, that might help swing it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of whatever this is.